Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 48 of Let's Play Tales of Fantasia, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we got all three weapons, so now let's head over to Arlie. Grr, it's so cold. Let's rest in the inn. And of course, we can just move around at our own leisure. I decided to give Crest the Eternal Sword instead of the Doom Blade, because if we're going to be running to any enemies that are strong against darkness, then we're in a bad spot. So, luckily, the Eternal Sword is not an elemental. Eh, 70 gold, that's no big deal. Grr, it's so cold! Where's the heater? What's wrong, Mint? Chris? Um... I need to talk to you about something. I'll be waiting behind the inn. Please come after you're done unpacking. Um, uh... Okay... Everybody else has gone to sleep. Huh? What's Mint up to? She... went for a walk. Why is she going for a walk in this incredibly cold weather? <laughs> it's so cold! Yes, we get it, Klaus. You're cold. Just suck it up. What was that? Is she sad? Or just looking at the snow? What's the Eternal Sword doing, pulsating like that? What's wrong, Chris? Huh? Um, nothing. I think I'll go for a walk. Me too! I, no, I'll be fine by myself. What's his problem? Even Chris is going on this horrible cold. How nice. To be so young. Stop talking like an old geezer! You're not even 30 yet! <laughs> really, I thought Klaus would be around in his mid to late thirties. We still have a little time. What to do? Hmm, you got an idea? What's up? Just a bit of mischief. The innkeeper's like, what? What was that? What is Klaus doing with Origin, anyway? Origin. You can show events of the past and future, right? Yes, by using the Sword of Time. Looking into the future is forbidden. I can, however, show you a small part of the past. Through hypnosis? No matter how you plead, I'll only do this for you once. This is a special favor. Just once, huh? Sorry. Could you please leave the room for a moment? Why? Just go! What's up with everybody today? I think Chester got the hint. What do you wish to witness? Yes? Uh... What? Very well. I heard you, but I need you to speak up like you do when you summon something. And now... So what are we seeing? Oh, looks like we're back in the past, so that must be Euclid. Okay, that's enough for today's lesson. We pretty much finished the basics today. Thank you. So when is Professor Klaus gonna return? He taught that day us a lesson, didn't he? The village chief is so happy. He can't wait to throw a big party with the entire village. Who knows when he'll be back. Klaus is as stubborn as a golem and as hard to kill as a zombie. I'm sure he's doing fine. Well, then again, zombies are not that hard to kill. <laughs> You're probably right. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye.
So I'm guessing Klaus hasn't returned? I wonder where the heck he's gone. I just hope he's making himself useful. Not really as a bench warmer in our party for now. I guess I'll just wait here patiently. But how long did she have to wait? Did he ever come back? What are you looking at, Chester? You're planning on spying on those two, aren't you? I wonder about you sometimes. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? You and I have completely di opposite personalities, don't we? Isn't that as it should be? Why do you always lash out? I lash out? You've been on my case since I first saw you. Since you first saw me? <sighs> Don't read anything into that. Let's go outside. I'm fine. No, you're not. Come on! Oh, somebody got whipped. Sorry. Did you wait a long time? Not really. I just couldn't get away by myself. Do you mind if I stand by you? No. Oh, this is awkward. Come on, say something. You wanted to discuss something. What is it? Look at this. What's this? It's an earring? Hold it against the wall. I'm sure you'll be able to escape the manor. Wait! You... Just hold the earring against the wall. Well, that's when we escaped Euclid Castle. And that's around the time that Chris saw uh, Mint's mother. This earring, decorated with a unicorn, is really rare, right? There are only two in the whole world. It's the healer's mark, and my mother used to wear it. My mother's... I'm sorry. Don't apologize. If you hadn't lied to me at that time, I'm sure I would have become so distraught it would have made things worse. Mint. I really wanted to say... Thanks. Mint. Hey, let's go back already. It's snowing again. Wait a little longer. And just like that, Klaus got a new title. It was even snowing in that declaration. Oh, looks like the cutscenes are over. Mr. Cress! Is Mr. Cress here? Who are you? I belong to the Exploration Team Information Department. Could have come up with a better title? We received reports of a huge castle in the mine's ruins. A giant castle? Yeah. Mine's ruins, ruins lead to a hillside. Apparently, you can see a huge castle from there. Sounds suspicious. Let's go have a look. You'll find the mine's ruins to the northwest of here. Good luck. Oh, we got an earring. I can equip it as an accessory. Okay, is it any good? Nullifies non-elemental magic. Yeah, I should definitely give that to Mint. Okay, also before I go on, I forgot that I set the battle rank to level 2 because I'm still trying to get that title. Still hasn't happened yet! Okay, so this is the cave that I gotta go to. Like, if you try going here before, you would just be rejected. The exploration team told me about you. Go on through. 
Luca. This looks like the place. But I don't see any castle. Yeah. But based on what Lundgren said, the castle must be hidden in time itself. So that's why we can't see it from this world. I bet it's only visible when monsters come and go. Then... What if we use the Sword of Time? Good idea. The sword can manipulate time. We must be able to make the castle appear. Let's try it. Oh, Eternal Sword. Please pull Deos' castle out of its hiding place in time. Is this even the right spot? Oh, it is. Look at that castle over there. It's almost shaped like St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia. I mean, look at it. Oh, this is a very large place, and this is the final dungeon in the game. So expect this one to really beat you up if you're not prepared. It worked perfectly. I didn't think it would work so well. Alright. How are we going to get over there? Um... The wind's too strong to use the tech bird, right? Huh? There's some kind of white light coming out of the Sword of Time. Well, you wanted to get in there, so... There's one way. <coughs> what the heck just happened? Did Deos' power to manipulate time resonate with the Sword of Time and pull us here? Well, whatever it did, we're now in. Okay, so am I well equipped? I should be. Okay, so... Unlocking this castle has now given us more side quests to do. But for now, why don't we actually just have our first battle in Deos' castle to know what we're going to expect. As you can tell, I leveled up quite a lot and have been spending a lot of time cooking. <laughs> I can't believe you made it this far. Unfortunately, you came all this way to die. Okay, so here's our roaming eye, and that's our first battle here in Dios' castle. Alright, 56,600 HP. Not a lot to sneeze at. That obviously did not work according to plan. It has a few ways to counter your attacks. There we go, so just keep pounding the offense on him. And eventually we'll win. I still like Chaos Blade a lot, because if you got an enemy in close quarters, you can do a lot of damage. Just chains so well, too. Oh yeah, this roaming eye is down. I did it. And we get a stone charm for that. Wow, 329 extra experience. Just on combos alone. Okay, so we should actually leave. Because now that we actually revealed Deos' castle, more side quests are available to us. Like I said before. I just wanted to finish off that roaming eye because we would have had to anyway. With that in mind, we should actually head over to Freeze Keel, so you might want to mute your speakers, or lower your speakers a little bit. Given what can happen! Like, you know, the game glitching. I believe we gotta talk to this guy? No, that's the merchant. But at this point, now there's gonna be a new side quest for treasures. You're burning with love? Okay. Hello there. Are you folks adventurers? I have a proposal for you. Will you hear me out? Excellent. The name's Graham. Graham Eifried. No doubt you heard the name before. I'm the son of Eifried the pirate. Of course, those good old days are long gone. I sold the ship my father left me just to make ends meet. 
And your proposal is... Wait, I bet I know. You want us to help you find your father's fortune. Bingo. But don't get me wrong. I'm not after the money. Anyway, take a look at this old scroll. Old scroll? Yeah, my father left it to me. It mentions the location of his secret hideouts. And something about his most precious treasure. His most precious treasure? Let's see here. With Odin dead ahead and Fenrir to the left. There, at the center of the world, lies my most precious treasure. You can keep all the treasure, except for one item. I want his most precious treasure mentioned in the scroll. Okay, we'll go look for it. Okay, now with the scroll, we can actually take a good look at what treasures we still need to get. There's another side quest we can unlock just by going to the inn. Okay, game. There we go. Okay, now we have to go to the inn next. I know there's one guy we need to talk to. And it should be somewhere in this room. The tale of the hero Gilgan, blah 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 blah, ever heard of it? I think it's true. In fact, some of the items are related to it. Okay, so first off, we can actually go to, like, uh, certain areas. Like, for instance, anywhere you can land that you can't really do much in, that's where you would have to go to find Eifried's treasure. For instance, this is a spot. Ah, oh, we got some fur. And I got a spirit ring. And hyper gauntlets! Hyper gauntlets are actually pretty good. Okay, once possessed by a legendary hero raises your accuracy. Yes, equip it. If you came to this area before, there would actually be no treasure at all. So be sure to keep that in mind. You would have to trigger this side quest from Graham first, before you can go over here. Okay, that was quite interesting. That led absolutely nowhere. Okay, where should I go to next? I believe there was an area west of Arley you can land. Like here. Oh, there's a couple treasure chests. Got a resist ring and more fur. Remember, fur sells really well at Arley. So keep that in mind if you want to get some extra money. As far as I know, there's nothing else. Okay, where else do I go? Here? I think so. Uh, it doesn't seem all that obvious to me. Treasure chest might be hidden. Don't think I've landed on this spot yet. Uh, where's the treasure chest? Up oh, there it is. There's two. We've got a Sephira and a blue candle. The blue candle doesn't really have much of a use yet, but apparently it illuminates even the darkest of dungeons. And the Sephira, if you equip it, you can earn 50% more gold. Seems pretty cool. But what if we can make that even better? Now we turn it to Sephira plus one. Now you can get a hundred percent more gold. Pretty cool, huh? That's a neat way to make some extra money if you feel like you're not gonna make enough on your own time. Okay, now let's see what else we'll find here. Huh, a reverse doll. Not exactly that special, we got a ton of those. Okay, there should be another spot somewhere to the west. Ah, perfect, we found it. Ooh, lots of treasure. Okay, fur, a black onyx, a stun bracelet, a green torch, an elixir, and a blue shield! Okay. Some of these items we're finding that's equipment is related to Gilgamesh. Also known as the abandoned shield. Okay. So you'd be absolutely remiss if you did not have this equipped on Cress. Okay, so there should be another spot around... let's see, here? Yes. Oh, those chests are hard to find. We got a dark steel, an elixir, and another spirit ring. Let's see if there's any other chests that could be easily eluded. 
Okay, the Dark Seal is not bad. However, there is a catch. You can acquire 50% more experience, but you'll receive increased damage and a curse for the battle's duration. So, again, you can use a Rune Bottle to make it even better, or, you know, worse, depending on your perspective, to change it to the Demon Seal. Now you get double the experience, no defense, but you stay cursed. So, if you're feeling a bit greedy, go right ahead. I'm not greedy. But, you know, I've been wrong before. Sometimes you can just dare to be stupid. Okay, we gotta find, like, another spot. And I have no idea where it could be. Maybe here? So I think there was, like, two spots in this general area. Okay, more fur. A protect ring. And that's it. Okay. We should go a little somewhere around the northwest. Like, probably this spot. Okay, a silver cape. That's pretty useless to us. And there should be a spot here. Okay, more fur and a moon crystal. Fair enough. Okay, just go somewhere here. Like, anywhere that's suspicious, that's where you need to go. So be on the lookout. More fur and a reverse doll. What is up with fur? There's like a ton of fur. Like, it's beyond crazy. Okay, this doesn't seem like a spot. It's probably somewhere near Venezia. Like the next area we can go. Okay, I already scoured that part. Hmm. I think there'd be one around here. No? Okay. Pretty sure there's a spot here. Oh, guess we're gonna have ourselves a battle for the first time in ages. That shield looks pretty awesome. I mean, look at it. I mean, that's literally like the stuff of legends. Okay, maybe there isn't something over there. I was probably looking at something wrong. Did I check around here? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I was already here. Yeah, I was here. Okay. Where else can I look? Here! Okay. At this point, I'm gonna, like, lose track of everything, and I'm just gonna go to places I've already been to. A princess cape! Okay, this one seems very important. Okay, that nullifies fire damage 50% of the time. That seems pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about this black gown. Lowers defense but raises evasion. And the Wonder Broom's not that good. Okay. I forgot that I got this stuff in the Elven Village. That's so damn expensive. Okay, where to next? Um, is this a good spot, so to speak? Like, maybe here? Like this beachhead? Nope, maybe I'll try this spot. Hmm, no. Okay. Here? Like in the forest? Yes. Good thing you can have, like, no battles here. Oh, a polearm. This is interesting. Is it gonna be a good weapon? The Saint Halberd. Blessed by the gods. How blessed? Not blessed enough, it seems. Could have blessed it a little bit more to make it stronger. But no. Apparently saints aren't made to be violent creatures. 
Okay, so there might be something on this island. Well, there's a couple islands. Ah, oh, perfect. A silver matic? Okay, what is that? Decorative item that has a 50% chance of nullifying Earth-based attacks. And why does it look like a power drill that you get in Black & Decker? Or Canadian Tire, so to speak? Uh, this island is suspicious. Rosania's dress! Ah, this must be what I... what Graham was looking for. This is the very thing! Okay, so where else can I land? Probably a little more to the south. Oh, a protect ring over here. And now where else can I look? Probably somewhere around Freyland. I'm gonna look around that continent. Oh, there's an island right over here. Huh. Okay, that did not have anything. Maybe this island does? Yes. Okay, ebony wood I can sell. An emerald ring, which I'll turn into a fairy ring. That is a given. Earthenware pot, I'm gonna sell somewhere else. Excuse me, I just had a hiccup. This island is large. Okay, the Nagazuki, an elixir, a shield ring, and another elixir. Why was that in a blue chest? Okay, whatever game. Ooh, tapestry. Okay, I, I sense a theme here. Like, this is all tapestry. That means I gotta sell it somewhere for a ton of money. I didn't even reach the chest and I still managed to open it. Oh, nothing else in that juncture. Okay, we almost got all the uh, areas checked out. So there might be a little beachhead here. Perfect. This is well worth my time. A red lantern, a red shield, elven boots, coral, a random sword, and an elixir. Okay, what about this sword? Ugh, a dual sword. I have a feeling that's crap. Eh, well, it's close. Could've been a lot worse, actually. Let me check out this island over here. I think this is the one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, more fur. Oh, God. For, for the people that think fur is murder, they're gonna hate this episode. And to be honest, I couldn't care less. NG, a sword, elven boots, and an emerald ring. Nice. But what's the NG? A book with a round yellow character on its cover. Huh, funny. Do I give that to Klaus? Is that supposed to be a weapon? The Blessed Blade? Is it any good? Nah. Oh yeah, I forgot to check on Klaus. Oh my god, he can't equip this. Low accuracy, but very powerful. Okay, interesting. I think there's one more spot around here. And I think that should be all of them. Uh, an elixir, a golden helm, and marble. Okay, at this rate, I'm actually doing really well. Was there supposed to be some body armor lying around as well? I don't think so. So anyways, I'm pretty sure that's everything. If I did miss one thing, then I'll come back to it later. But in the next episode, I'm going to go see Graham, and hopefully I'll get a good reward. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.